Six o'clock, we are on the pump patrol trying to get you answers about skyrocketing gas prices. And if you were driving around today, which you were, you noticed those prices ticking up a few cents higher. Yeah, five dollars pretty mm -hmm. much right now for a lot of people. Let's take a closer look at where we stand. The national average is 476 a gallon. Here in Connecticut, the average is 477. That's up 10 cents from this time last week when it was 467. So a lot of questions here. Why is this happening and when can we see some relief? We asked a number of experts to get the answers you're looking for. Our chief investigative reporter Matthew Campbell is joining us from the answer desk and Matthew we're seeing prices get uh, as I said very close to five dollars. I imagine some are even over that right now. Yeah, Mark and Aaron experts say it's really only a matter of time before we cross that $5 threshold and families are factoring these prices into their behavior. Maybe they're not going to travel as much. Maybe they'll make other sacrifices just to be able to fill their tank. So with that in mind, we collected a trio of experts to answer the questions that you probably have at home. When you hit the roads today, you probably saw gas increase by at least a dime a gallon. So how much does it cost to fill up your car? Uh, about $60. And I have a two-door Honda Coupe. Memorial Day weekend has come and gone, and as we head into the summer months, gas stations have switched over to the more expensive summer blends. That is a 15 cent premium moving from uh, the winter blend to the summer blend. It's Chris Herb, the president of Connecticut Energy Marketers Association, explains why there's no way around this. The government mandated gasoline that we have to use, and that is now fully built into the price as of June 1st. That summer blend increase happens every year, but it's more painful now because prices are already sky high. Our panel of experts, which include Herb, Quinnipiac's international business professor Mohammed Alahi, and Michael Fox, the executive director of the Gasta Association, all say the war in Ukraine is a huge factor. The sanctions against Russia, 10% of the world of U.S. supply has been taken offline. That is not coming here. We rely on those imports to offset our lack of production domestically. Traders are worried that if the war continues, and it seems in all likelihood it will continue. There will be problem. The war and the sanctions applied have triggered a supply and demand issue back home, especially as we factor in the summer driving season. The perfect storm that prices are going to continue to increase. Fox says boosting production, especially in the U.S., should help, but notes that five U.S.-based refineries that shut down during the pandemic have yet to reopen and probably won't. Why am I going to open this refinery when it's expensive to operate when the president of the United States says our policies are going to eliminate fossil fuel? So that's what experts say got us to these prices today. When can we expect them to come down? A any relief in sight? Not in the short term. All right, so while our experts don't believe prices will come down anytime soon, there is a hope they can at least stabilize. OPEC, the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, agreed to increase production and experts say when they've done that in the past, gas prices have settled down. Live here at the Answer Desk, Matthew Campbell, Sean Thurnish News. A lot of